we will be using this windows server 2008 enterprise version of operating system to install active directory so let me log in to the operating system first in windows server 2003 we had something called con configure your server to uh, install the active directory and we can also install it from the DC promo using directly uh, DC promo from the command prompt or from the run prompt likewise in Windows Server 2008 also we can install Active Directory using the server manager utility and uh, we can also use directly the DC promo command so I will be using the typical steps for installing Active Directory in Windows Server 2008 First of all, we have to make sure that we have a static IP and our computer is connected to a network. That is a very important part. Then uh, have a look at your time zone and make sure that you are using the correct time zone and time. You can change your computer address, uh, sorry, computer name and uh, other details. And after closing that window, the server manager will be opened automatically and from there you can click on roles and click on add roles you can click on next and you can select the active directory domain services and click on next and all the other services that depends on active directory will be uh, will work only after installing the domain services so you can click on next it will uh, give us an introduction about the active directory domain services and we also have a note on what all things we need to um, enable before doing the installation you can click on next and click on install This will install the Active Directory Domain Services role into your computer. It will add all the MMC snap-ins and uh, binaries and everything. And after this, to configure and create a domain, you have to use the DC Promo command. If you directly go and run the DC Promo command, it will also install these binaries and uh, snap-ins first. Typical way to do the installation is like this. You can install the role from the server manager first and after that you can create the domain using the DC promo the installation is complete and it says that use the active directory domain services installation wizard to make the server a fully functional domain controller this is what I said we have to run the DC promo.exe anyways to uh, create the domain so I can click on this link and it will close this window and open up the DC promo wizard so i have the active directory domain services installation wizard here you can click on next operating system compatibility all the details of that now i can click on create a new domain in a new forest click on next give the domain name of the company we can create contoso.com as an example and click on next select the functional level it is typically the level of the forest of your domain if you want to add any 2000 or 2003 domains to your existing forest you can select the 2003 or 2000 we can have all the details here the windows 2000 forest functional level provides all active directory domain service features that are available in windows 2000 server if you have domain controllers running later versions of windows server some advanced feature will not be available on those domain controllers.
so if you want to add windows 2000 servers to your domain you can select this i will select the windows server 2008 functional level and it will tell that you will be able to add only domain controllers that are running windows server 2008 or later to this forest and you can click next i have to select all these for my first domain controller I click on next click on yes actually the dns server is used for the name resolution of active directory it is necessary for in the installation of domain controller uh, active directory will not work with without dns so it's it asks whether we have a existing dns server in our environment if we have an existing one we have to add the name resolution properties of this domain to that existing dns server i can click yes to continue these are the destination parts of the database folders ntds is the name of the active directory default database you can click on next and give the restore mode password this is the password that we use for the restoration of active directory you can click on next you can export these settings that i have selected here to a text file for for, uh, for future use or i can click on next to ins for the installation you can check this one to reboot the machine after this completes this will take a couple of minutes to complete so uh, i will pause the video and will be right back when it is about to finish The setup has completed and I have to restart the computer. It will automatically restart actually because I have given that check mark to reboot the computer after completion of installation. The computer has restarted and we can log in now. Now you can see here that uh, we are logging onto the Contoso domain as administrator. All the user accounts in the local machine previously has been transferred to a domain account. So that's why we are logging as a administrator here. This administrator account is the same local administrator account that we had previously in this computer. So the password is the same. The initial configuration task page is here and here you will be able to see that my full computer name has been changed to svr121 dot contoso.com and the domain name is also prof uh, specified here contoso.com you can close out of this can close out of these also and from the administrative tools I can see all and so with the help of which I will be able to try, um, configure this domain or manage this domain and most of the administrators will be spending most of their time on this activity users and computers so I will open up this you can see that here you have the domain and if you expand this you have all the users domain controllers computers and other containers and it is this console from you uh, from where you create users delete users reset their password create new organizational units create new groups if you check in the administrative tools you can also see the group policy management console which i have I told you earlier in this video from where we can create and attach group policies to this domain and to this uh, and to the OU that we create in this domain. I'll be explaining all these in another video regarding this 
uh, uh, group policies and OUs and all the other objects in Active Directory. We have just finished installing Active Directory and I hope this was useful for you and thank you for watching.